Hi guys, Cavi Wonders. I've got a pretty small haul for you today. Um, I just picked up a few things while I was out um, because I went to a pet store that was closing down because they said they had some really great prices. Um, their prices were okay. They weren't really that much better than most pet stores even when they were clearing out their stuff. But anyway, I went to PetSmart as well and I only got two things and they were these um, spooky chew rings because I was about an hour away from my house and the PetSmart near my house, which is about a half an hour, they didn't get any Halloween stuff other than some outfits. And I really, 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 really wanted these and I couldn't justify um, driving an hour just to get these otherwise. But because I had to go and pick up other stuff, I stopped at the PetSmart that was up there and I got these on clearance for $2.50 I think. Well, it was $5.25 after taxes for both of them. So, yeah. So I was really happy because I love Halloween stuff. And I, I actually wouldn't have bought them otherwise because they're like $5 normally. So, and they're really cute. They've got a jack-o'-lantern, an eyeball, and candy corn, a witch's hat, and Frankenstein. And they're like a little chew ring that you can hang up to, I think. It's got a weird kind of hanging thing. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I'll figure it out, though. Anyway, then I picked up these at a different pet store, and these were only $1.90. I just bought these two, the same ones, from um, State Line Pet Supplies. And I gave them to a friend as a gift um, because it was her birthday and she wanted some pet stuff. So... I gave her some unopened treats, and I bought her some other stuff. Yeah, these are dollar ninety, just like the other one. Um, let me move on to the biggest item that I bought, which is the twenty-five or the twenty-pound bag of Premium Timothy Pellet Blend. This does have alfalfa in it, um, but after speaking with my vet, who is um, an exotic vet, and um, doing a little bit of research, I decided to buy these instead of the one hundred percent Timothy Blend. Um, these do have alfalfa, which is good for active rabbits, um, after doing a lot of research. And because my rabbits are incredibly active, and one of them is still really kind of young, um, you can see her, she's in there right now. They haven't gone out yet for the day. They're going out in about a half an hour, because I just got home, and I didn't want to put them outside when I wasn't home. So, they are always out. Sorry about that, my memory ran out again. So, my rabbits are really active. They're outside um, during the day for quite a while, and they've got a really large amount of room where they can hop around and all of that. And because Sally is just around six months, I don't mind giving this to her um, anyway. And, I mean, it's the same price as the Timothy, like the 100% Timothy, but it is, winter's coming up, and I really do want them to put on a little bit of weight. And because I like to make sure that they're going to stay warm um, because I still keep them outside during the winter time. They don't live outside during the winter time. They, they always live indoors. They just get put in that cage at night. Um, and normally I put them out around 6 in the morning and I take them back in around 10 at night. Um, and they're just they're super active when they are outside because they've got the run of um, it's 10 feet by I think 13 or 14 feet. So they've got about 150 square feet of um, room to run. And there's actually no real grass in there. Um, they've got, um, it's like a turf. Because half of it is pavers and the other half is like a turf. Um, because they're, the, the grass didn't grow in that great this season. So we ended up just putting down fake grass. Um, and they don't need it or anything like that. It doesn't bother them. But because of that, I wanted to kind of get something to help them keep a little bit more weight on because uh, it is winter and I want them to stay warm even in the cold weather when they are outside because I like to make sure they do get a lot of outside time. Um, and half of the run is covered anyway with the tarp, so no snow gets in on half of it. And they've got a heated kind of like a dog igloo, a really big dog igloo that's about 4 by 4 so during the winter they can go in there too. So Anyway, this was $15 and it's the 9 kilogram or 20 pound bag. So this wasn't really on sale or anything like that. There's a hole in this somewhere. 
to move that over. I'll figure that out later. And then I got these Oxbow tunnels. Um, I got the Oxbow Timothy hideouts for hamsters and gerbils. So it's kind of just like that, and it's got a little bit of an opening. I don't know if you can see it on either of them, really, but it's got a little slit opening here. Um, and I'm actually going to give these to the pigs. I'm going to stuff them with hay and veggies, and it's going to be like a little foraging treat. Um, and it was not $5.99. It was, I think these were $3.27 each, or $3.30 each, which is a really good price, um, because these are normally $7 at PetSmart, which is why I don't ever buy them, so I got two of them, so basically I can give, I think I'll give one to the rabbits outside, because they need more foraging toys, and I might give one to the girls, because the girls don't have as much as the boys do, so, and the last thing that I got was this really cute and I'd never buy it otherwise, Vita Prima Pizza Garden Veggie. Um, and it was about $2.45. Now, it does look like it's kind of old, um, but I think the expiration date wasn't too bad. It's not, yeah, it doesn't expire until June of next year. And it's going to be a treat, and this is probably going to go to the hamsters. Um, because I prefer not to give the pigs or the bunnies any kind of like a baked treat like that because it looks like it's like a biscuit and I don't know what the ingredients are in it anyway um wheat flour dried egg product yeah that's why I'm not gonna know um dried carrot dried leeks dried pumpkin or dried pumpkin sorry um sugar corn syrup yeah this is gonna go to the hamsters I don't like to give my bunnies or my pigs anything that's got eggs or dairy. Um, I do as a rare occasional treat. They'll get it, but otherwise they won't. So yeah, these are the couple of things that I picked up while I was out. I hope you enjoyed this haul, and make sure to give it a like if you did. Thanks guys!